today we're going to do an unboxing and a show and a setup of the Barista Touch Impress. So my lovely bride went ahead and bought me one of these Breville uh, Touch Impress cappuccino makers. This is a rather automated cappuccino machine, fairly sophisticated. Uh, and what I thought I would do is I'm going to do an unboxing today. I'll show you how you set it up. And I won't post these videos for several weeks and or even a month or two until I have sort of learned how this thing works and can show you some of the pros and cons in a, over a two or three video series. So I'm starting with the complete unboxing of this. So for those of you that watch this channel a lot, you almost know I always have a cup of coffee sitting here next to me or even a Starbucks cup. I do have a Starbucks habit and um, I thought, you know what, I really kind of wanted to get into making cappuccinos and maybe flat whites and some of these things, but a barista I am not. And Breville has just come out with this newest machine, which sort of uh, automates a lot of the skill that a barista typically brings to the table. Now, I probably won't have all of the flexibility of a barista with a you know $10,000 machine, but this machine is, um, well, I guess it all depends on where you're coming from. It's reasonable compared to a commercial cappuccino machine like you'd see at your local coffee shop. Uh, but this thing's still about $1,500, so they're not inexpensive. Uh, every once in a while, you can see them as cheap as $900, uh, but I'll, uh, I'll put a couple links to where, where you can get them directly on Amazon, and I'd say watch for them to be on sale. Uh, I would also suggest that you watch for sellers where the seller is actually Amazon and not a third party. I ran into a bit of an issue. Uh, first one I ordered, I received just some junk electronic parts. Um, for a thousand dollars so ended up getting a credit on it but it was a little bit hairy there for a minute so let me go ahead and unbox this and we'll show you how to set it up the first time and next video will be how to make coffee all right so first things first we're gonna go ahead and open this guy up boxing is pretty darn nice too and I actually watched how they suggest you open this so I'm gonna pull the parts right out of the lid here what it suggested we do is tip this on its side slide it right out of the box. Now look at that, it has handles to do it, everything. All right, the accessories are tucked in everywhere, so we're gonna make sure we don't have any that we need to pull out of here. Let me put this down, all of our plastic off of here. I'm gonna continue by removing all of the uh, packing tape that's on here. I will say one of the nice things about this is there's a little um, QR code on the top. You scan it with your, app, with your phone and it brings up a step-by-step -step set of instructions and video for how to set up every single part of this. Now I watched that a few times make sure I'm getting all of this right. And the first step here really is just removing all of the packing material and getting it um, sort of established so we can begin to set it up. Twist that to lock it. Put that on. I'm just gonna go through here and open up all of these other little items here to see what they are. So this is part of our water filtering system. I believe this is as well, part of our water filter. We have a set of cleaning items here. So we have a milk steamer cleaner, or what they call the milk Q, M-I-L-Q, uh, which is sort of milk IQ, if you will. Uh, this is a razor for uh, trimming off when you have too much coffee in the portafilter. A little brush. We have a little package of descaler for cleaning this later down the road. We have our portafilter here. This is probably going to be some of our additional, yep, our additional cups. So these are our single wall and these are our dual wall ones. So there's a dual wall in here and this is a, for a double shot. This is for a single shot. Then we have these single wall ones here. I'm going to use a, um, a single wall filter because I have very freshly ground coffee. This little accessory is right in here. Let's 
store all those right in there. Now we're going to assemble the water filter. That's the next step. I'll show you how we go ahead and do this. So there's two things you ought to be doing. You want to wash everything with soap and water, all of your accessories. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and get this soak in. So this is my water filter, and it has this neat little dial gauge on the top. You want to replace this about every 90 days, every three months. So I'm going to set this for three months from today. So I'm just going to so I'm putting this in and not quite the first of the year yet. So it's going in in month one, out in month three. Got that listed. And now we just wanna soak this in cold water for about five minutes. All right, while this has been soaking in this cold water, I went ahead and washed everything up. The little milk pitcher, the porta filter, the uh, little baskets, uh, the whole bit, right? So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna take out our water filter. We're going to insert it right here into our little device. Push that on there, and then this goes right on here. And now we're going to insert it right onto the base here. And this nice and easy, line it up, and then just push down until it seals. There's a little O-ring in there. And now we're gonna go ahead and fill this up with cold water. Okay. We've got this thing below the max line. We wanna make sure we do that. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it right up here and slide it right down these bars on the back until it sets in there. And then just close the lid. And you can see the water tank is full and it has the filter right behind the Breville symbol there. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and put our beans in here. Now I've already locked this in place so I know my um, my coffee basket's in good shape. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can either use freshly roasted beans, which is obviously the best choice, and you wanna use them within five days to 45 days or so. If you don't have a roasted on date or know when they were roasted, then you wanna make sure that you do a slightly different setup, and I'll let you watch your instructions with that, but that's when you're gonna use your dual-walled filter baskets as opposed to your single-walled uh, baskets. So I'm gonna open this up. Uh, I found this neat little place right down here in Fort Myers, uh, Florida, where they actually roast the coffee right there. So this was roasted two days ago, um, which is pretty cool. All right, and now we're just gonna go ahead and add our beans right to the top of our hopper here. All right. Put our lid on. All right, so it's not gonna be time to power it up. I'm gonna go ahead and pull off this protective sheet that was over the screen, and then we are going to hit the power button to turn it on. I don't know if you can hear this. I hear it humming just a little bit here. I think that was just putting the water down into the heating element so that it is not dry when we actually go to brew. So now that we've powered it up, I'm going to zoom into the screen and we'll kind of go through the rest of the setup steps so you can see exactly what it is that it's going to ask you to do. Great. So I'm going to hit English. I'm going to do Fahrenheit. And my default milk will be dairy milk. And time to set the time. It is actually December 31st of 2023, but you'll see this later than that. And now I'm going to follow the steps here as I go. So accessory checklist, wash and install parts, and prime the machine. Yep, we've unpacked everything. We've soaked the filter. We've installed our coffee hopper. We put our storage down below. We've rinsed everything off. We added the water filter. We filled the tank. We did our water test, our water hardness test. And I am now going to go ahead and select my, so I'm gonna select right there on my three. So I'm gonna definitely use the water filter, that's good. So I'm going to uh, place my milk pitcher right underneath my group head. And I'm gonna tap start to prime the hot water spout. You can see everything is uh, running through. Some came out the hot water spout, some heated up the porta filter, and some heated up the milk wand. It says, you have successfully set up your machine, let's brew some coffee. So it gives me a, a tutorial here. So let's go ahead and go through this. Uh, you'll need fresh whole beans in about 10 minutes. We can certainly do that. So it's showing me I have my grind dial right over here. I have my tamp lever. Porta filter and cradle goes here. My water spout, group head and steam wand. That makes sense. 
You'll need freshly roasted beans, a clean coffee cup, a clean cloth, and milk. I can navigate by swiping left or right. I can select a drink. I'm just going to choose an espresso here. So hot coffee needs a hot cup. It says place this under the water spout, which I'll do. And I can tap the water button to start the water. There you go. You can see it's filling up that cup with hot water. I'll go ahead and continue here. I'm going to tell us about the type of beans we're using to get the best results. So this is roasted within 30 days. I am using a single wall, two cup basket for stronger coffee. I'm going to leave my grinder at its current setting, which is 15. I'm just using the grind dial on the left hand side. So let's go ahead and adjust this. I'm going to go to 15. There we go. And I'm choosing my dual size here. Dump out that water. And now it's telling me to go ahead and put my Porta filter right in here and ready to start the grinding. Grinding, I'm just going to go ahead and touch that button. It starts the grinding away. You can hear it for sure. It tells me to go ahead and tamp. Press the lever all the way down. It says it's a very low tamp. Tap the Porta filter image to add more. Ready to tamp again. It's still low. It's kind of neat. It automatically adjusts how many beans are needed. All right, that now measured the right tamp uh, amount. And the nice thing about this is it will now adjust how, how long it grinds for the next one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the next thing here. And we're going to insert the porta filter into the group head. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Tap the image to start. 3 1000, 4 1000, 5 1000, 6 1000, 7 1000, 8 1000, 9 1000, 10 1000. So they say you should see it between 7 and 12 seconds. And it's certainly looking good. All right, it says it was too fast. So this is that intelligent brewing. It says that pour might taste watery. Do you prefer your coffee this way? So I can take this out and give it a try. I think I want that a little bit stronger. It does taste a little bit watery to me. So I'm going to say we're going to try again here. The 15. I think I'm going to go up to about 16 or 17. Try it right there at 17. We'll see how this does. Take this cover off so you can see the tamping device there. Still a little low. Add a little bit more. All right, that's right. I'm going to put this back on here. And we'll go ahead and brew. And that looks nice if you can see that. It's got my line of espresso and a little bit of that crema right on the top. I like this. All right, so I've now uh, tuned the machine in. I'll probably play with this a little bit more. I'll do a few different drinks, cappuccinos, flat whites, just to try it out. And uh, I will come back after I get all that figured out. I'll show you some instructions on how to do it, and I'll tell you what I learned as I go through it. You certainly don't want to watch me bumble along as I do this, but it is certainly um, important to tune these things in, and I'd love to share with you what I learn as I go through the process so that you don't make those same mistakes. <laughs> anyway, we'll do ourselves a quick Americano. I wouldn't mind having one. Now we'll choose Americano. I'm going to adjust our coffee just a little bit here. And tamp this guy down. Need just a bit more. Perfect. That tamp looks nice.
put our coffee in there and we'll hit go ahead and brew our espresso and then we'll add in the water came in right between eight and nine seconds that's good And then we'll go ahead and do the water. You can see it's pouring it right in there, and this is going to be for a classic Americano. It's amazing how fast this heats up that water. It's just shocking that it goes that quick. <laughs> I hope I chose the right size. I don't want to overflow the cup. <laughs> Whew, that's close. And there, our classic Americano. While I sit here and enjoy my Americano, I think we're going to end this video here. We'll do another video. It'll show up a week after this one, even though there might be a good month between them. And we'll show you um, how we do different recipes, lessons we learn, and how everything's going with it. So thanks, safe, and happy coffee making, grilling, whatever it happens to be. Bye, y'all.